welcome back everyone so i have seen many windows user who forget their bit locker pin or password and even they don't remember the recovery option and this can be really frustrating as you are not able to log in to your computer and even you are not able to reset it so during such scenarios you have only one option that is to format your drive completely where you will be losing all your data and you will have to install the windows again and in order to install the windows again you will need to create a bootable windows usb that will be for windows 10 or 11 whichever you are using so without any delay let's quickly get started and before starting guys make sure if this video help you out then please hit the like subscribe as it will not cost you anything but will surely help my channel to bring more and more valuable videos for you you can also join my membership where you can live chat with me to fix any of your pc and laptop problem all right so once you are on this bitlocker screen that says enter the pin or password to unlock this drive now here at the bottom you will find it says press escape for bitlocker recovery so from your keyboard you will have to press the escape key and it will say preparing bitlocker recovery so wait until you get the next screen and then you will be coming to this kind of page now here you have to look for the skip this drive option that will be on the very right hand corner so click on skip this drive then you will have to click on troubleshoot then click on advanced option and then click on command prompt now this will list you the black window and here we have to run some command in order to format the partition completely so first you have to write here disk part hit the enter key and we will be now in the disk partition so now we need to find out that how many disks are there so for that you have to type list space disk and then hit the enter key so now on my end i have only one disk that is disk zero that is my primary device where my operating system has been installed on your end you may have multiple disks so you have to look for the one where your windows has been installed okay so now you will have to select it by typing select space disk space then the disk number so on my end it's disk zero so i will type zero and then hit the enter key so now this disk will be selected and now we need to find out the volume where exactly the operating system has been installed for that you have to type list space volume again hit the enter key and now it will list you all kind of volume created in your disk and here you have to look for the one that is your primary partition where the windows has been installed so on majority of the time it's c drive and you can also find out by looking over the size so again on my end it's volume one that is c drive and next you have to type create space p a r t that is for partition then p r i that is for primary again hit the enter key now we need to format it so type format space fs equal sign ntfs space label equal sign then you have to type the drive letter so on my end it's volume c so i will type c but on your end if the windows has been installed in d or e then you have to type the same drive letter again give a space and then type quick and hit the enter key again so once it get completed next we have to type format space fs equal sign ntfs space label equal sign surface space and quick again hit the enter key and now the last command will be assign space letter equal sign and type the same drive letter c again hit the enter key and now you're all done so now your disk has been completely formatted and this time when you exit out from here the computer will not be booting up because there is no data there is no windows and now you will have to install the windows again using your bootable usb okay so i will type exit here and hit the enter key and close the command prompt click on turn off your pc and this time when i start the computer i will be getting the error that there is no disk available or no partition found okay so now let me connect my bootable usb and then i will be installing the windows 11 again so once you have connected the usb you need to boot with that particular usb using the boot priority order 
hit any key to load with the USB and then you will be getting the Windows 11 installation page. So now here you have to follow the instructions. You will have to click on next, click on install now and then you have to follow the same steps as installing Windows 11 or Windows 10 whichever you want to install. Next if you remember the product key then you can enter it or you can simply click I don't have a product key. It will automatically detect it. Then you have to choose the same addition that you were using before. Click on next. Check the agreement box. Click on next. Click on custom. Now here if you want to create any kind of partition then you can create it. I will not be creating as of now so I will click on next. And the installation of windows will be started. Alright so after this there is a very simple steps to apply. So you can go ahead and install windows once again and then you can enjoy your computer without any kind of problem. So that's all guys for today. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.